Kamala Ho Harris right here. Watch her lie to your face about the border. Would you call the border secure? I think that there is no question that we have to do what the president and I asked Congress to do. Is the first request we made: pass a bill to create a pathway to citizenship. The border is secure, but we also have a broken immigration system, in particular over the last four years before we came in, and it needs to be fixed. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. But there are still a lot of problems that we are trying to fix, given the deterioration that happened over the last four years. We also have to put in place a, 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 a law and a plan for a pathway for citizenship for the millions of people who are here and are prepared to do what is legally required to gain citizenship. We don't have that in place because people are playing politics in a state like this yeah. and in Congress. On, By the way, you want to talk about bipartisanship on an issue that at one time was a bipartisan issue, both in terms of Republican senators and, and even presidents. Feels like another feels like another century ago. It but well, it, it, but, but sadly, and then people are playing political gamesmanship with the issue. And, 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 well, here's and, another way that politics could have been played. Let me ask. Right now, our inf one of our inflationary problems is we don't have enough labor, particularly yeah, in the service right. economy. You're right. A, a solution on immigration reform that increased particularly lower wage job labor, lower wage labor, could actually have an impact on lowering inflation. How is that not the motivating force to get something done here? I, I do believe that for all reasonable people, all reasonable people are motivated and desirous mm -hmm. that we would get something done. I think a, a big part of the problem, though, is that there's been political gamesmanship with this issue. It's suggesting that it's a zero-sum game. If you want to deal with the issue, there are practical solutions, which include creating a pathway to citizenship, fixing a broken immigration system, dealing with the root causes of why people are fleeing their home when most people don't want to leave home. And if they do, it's usually because they're fleeing some harm or they simply can't take care of their basic needs if they stay. There are solutions. And um, sadly, this has become such a partisan issue instead of something where we work on it together agreeing that what we're doing is not working as a nation. It's not working. And with Camel Hair, she's, uh, she's from Oakland. So when she speaks, it's kind of like, the border is secure. It is very secure. All right, so when you ask me about the border, mm -hmm. it made me wonder, Jake Tapper, what are you getting at? Hmm? You out of pocket. There's a mm-hmm coming at any second with Kamala Harris. You've got to be careful because once she gets you with the mm-hmm, as a Democrat, you know, back off. She just got you with that mm-hmm. We are doing what needs to get done. Now, I agreed to come on this channel as long as you paid your respect to me. I am a black, okay, Indian, don't lie, woman, mm-hmm, of color. You know what? And I did not agree to come on NBC with this. Don't make me talk to your superior. All right, that was my impression of Kamala Harris. Now, DeSantis is also a military veteran, and he's also a governor in charge. And since he's in charge, he took charge, and he sent some of these immigrants, not all. He sent two busloads to Obama's house in Martha's vineyard. Not Martha Stewart's vineyard, Obama's house. Watch. But DeSantis has sent migrants on a plane to Martha's vineyard. Now, this is where... The Obamas have a home, Oprah, Beyonce, even James Taylor, who's going to be seeing fire, rain and migrants, uh, not to mention Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, everybody basically that, you know, on the left has a home there. Do you think they're going to be embracing their new neighbors? <laughs> you know, these are all sanctuary cities until they're in their sanctuary. Right. I, I doubt they'll embrace them. Don't know that I've ever been to Martha's Vineyard. Uh, I've been to places where we've seen these migrants come across. This is not good for America. 
Uh, every town's a border town, and we need to make sure we get our southern border secured exactly like we did for four years, Jesse. This is an official crisis now for the Democrats because two busloads have come to their nice property. What is going on? This is rude. This is a crisis. You can't do this. You keep them in your neighborhood, not mine. Oh, not to be outdone, we also have Governor Abbott who sent a busload of illegals directly to Camel Ho Harris's house. Call the border secure? The border is secure. So that is one of the more heartwarming stories of the day. You could tell when they pulled up in front of her house with the bus, she told her white husband, um, can you please tell me what's going on outside my window? Mm hmm. Cause, um, this is not right. This is not right at all. They're supposed to stay in Texas, Arizona, Florida, and Southern California. Don't be bringing them to my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. So lying, camel hair claims the border is secure, and we just caught her in that lie, and we're going to send her two bus loads every couple days until she finally admits it, which she never will. A little public service announcement. It is border, not border. Now, I don't know why I have to say this, because a lot of my fans writing, I love this. We do need to close up our border, and 90% get it right, but every 10th comment is B-O-A-R-D-E-R. This is not a boarding house unless you're Kamala Harris and you're putting illegals here to board them, but it's not supposed to be a border. It's supposed to be a border. Now, B-O-R-D-E-R, -E please write that down, tell your friends. I miss the days when we had a bookstore called Borders because this wasn't happening back then. Every day you get on the street, you'd see a Borders and you knew how to spell it, but it's been five, 10 years. So now people can only spell Barnes and Noble.